And now, your first alert five weather. Welcome back to News 5 at 6. That's a live look downtown Colorado Springs on Tejon Street. A few light snowflakes in front of the camera lens. The bigger story right now for the city is the cold air. With that light breeze out of the east, it feels like 15 degrees. Live in downtown Pueblo at the Riverwalk, no snow, but the cold makes up for it. 17 is your current wind chill. Live from Monument Hill, CDOT is on the scene. Just before we came on the air, I was watching that camera and a couple of trucks rolling southbound on I-25, so uh, everything okay on 25 right now. You can see in that parking lot as that guy walks into the shot right there. Just a dusting of snow right now. 14 is the current temperature. Snowflakes are flying across parts of El Paso County. Doesn't amount to much, and again, most of the roads are in okay shape right now. That will change tonight as uh, the uh, colder air pushes in, more snow accumulates. We'll see some icy conditions right now. Snow from downtown Colorado Springs all the way back to Fort Carson, far southwestern El Paso County, then on Highway 94 getting some snow. No, just found out earlier this afternoon, Miami Yoder School District closed tomorrow due to the intense cold with this system. Basically, that's it. We've got snow across El Paso County and points east, but the rest of southeastern Colorado dry right now. We are on weather alert for the coldest air we've felt in the past eight months. Just plan on a slick, icy commute tomorrow if you get snow and those wind chills tomorrow into Saturday morning into the single digits to below zero in many areas. Have that winter weather advisory active from now until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is for northern El Paso County. Monument to Tri Lakes area, Black Forest, then out 24, Peyton, Calhan, Rama, out to Simla, certainly going to need extra travel time. That's where most of the snow with this system is going to fall, and obviously the roads will be slick across the area. Here's our big weather story. First cold front came through here early this morning, brought in that colder air, reinforcing surge out to the east of us. That'll back door across I-20 later tonight, push right up against the foothills and as the main energy catches up with the cold air, snow will intensify later tonight, continue through mid morning tomorrow morning. It's not going to be much for the rest of southeastern Colorado, a trace to an inch possible in these areas. Heavier amounts of snow going to fall across the Pikes Peak region. I think by mid morning tomorrow morning, Monument, Black Forest, one to two and even three inches of snow possible. North end of Colorado Springs, one to two. Also west of I-25 across some of the higher elevations, uh, places like uh, the Air Force Academy, Manitou down into to the Broadmoor, one to two possible. Further south you go, the less you'll see a trace to an inch possible in those areas when it's all said and done. Wind chills, the other big story with this system. We'll see wind chills in the single digits and teens a little later this evening. That will be the pattern throughout the night tonight, throughout the day tomorrow as well. Seven in the morning, if you're walking out the door, wind chills into the single digits. You'll need to dress in layers, trapping that body heat. Wear something over your head. Don't forget the gloves. Noon, we don't see any change at all. It's just going to be brutally cold here across our area with an early Arctic invasion. Sky conditions by noon tomorrow, we're still locked in with the clouds. I think during the late afternoon hours, we'll see drier air punch in from the north, erode that cloud mass, but still heavy on the clouds for most of us throughout the entire day tomorrow. Pueblo, that high of 43 came around 10 this morning before the cold Arctic air moved in. In Colorado Springs, that high of 36 came around 8 o'clock this morning. Temperatures were falling during the afternoon hours. Here's how cold we get on the thermometer tonight. 7 in the springs, 10 degrees tonight in Pueblo for your finally Friday. Good day to hibernate inside the house. We haven't felt air that cold in a heck of a long time. Factor in a light breeze out of the east and it'll feel even colder than that. Here's your super seven day forecast in Colorado Springs. Again, the coldest air we've had in a long time. The last time we had a high in the teens was on the 10th of March. Plan on a slick icy commute tomorrow across the Pikes Peak region. Five to get your roll in Saturday morning. We will make it above freezing Saturday afternoon. Much better by Sunday and then look at Thanksgiving week. That's nice compared to what we've got out there right now. Even Thanksgiving Thursday, dry and mild is the main message. Pueblo brutally cold tomorrow, 21. Good if you're playing blackjack, bad if you have to be outdoors. Saturday morning, a frosty five to get you started in the Steel City. Then a big time warming trend, dry skies into Thanksgiving Thursday. If you're planning on putting on that feed bag Thursday, warm enough to get outside and maybe walk around the block before the big dinner. Canyon City, you will want to be indoors as much as possible tomorrow, close to that furnace vent. Dry and mild is the message for Thanksgiving week. There's a lot to be thankful for next week after suffering through that high of 22 tomorrow. Woodland Park, parkas, earmuffs, gloves, and a snow brush tomorrow. You will need extra travel time if you travel on untreated roads up there. Don't forget we'll have live team coverage early tomorrow morning. First alert five. All right, time for traffic right now. There's a crash. Hancock at Sports Drive. Another crash. Mount Werner Circle at El Paso Avenue. Steer clear of those areas. Ready?